Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day eight of the 31 Days of Horror. That's right, guys. Moving on right along with this uh, week and the month so far. It's crazy. It's already day eight. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a film from uh, this year, uh, 2019, brand new release. Uh, this is a film that I heard a lot of mixed opinions on. And I wanted to check it out for myself. And it's the horror anthology Nightmare Cinema. Yeah, there we go. Uh, of course, this one is a anthology with uh, different segments directed by different directors. Uh, of course, uh, Mick Garris, uh, Joe Dante, David Slade, Rio Kitamara, and Alejandro Bargis. I believe that's how you pronounce that. I probably butchered the hell out of it. But, uh, yeah, of course, uh, Mick Garris is the one who put this together. This is kind of in the vein of, like, his old show, Masters of Horror, kind of style of shorts that are in this. And pretty much, interestingly enough, there is, like, a wraparound story within this film, which I wasn't kind of expecting. I kind of expected it more to play out more like a you know, a clip anthology kind of like AVCs or Def or something like that. So I'll give them credit for that at least. You know, they try to put like a wraparound story within it. Which, uh, yeah, pretty much the wraparound is each of the main like figures that are in each of the shorts ends up coming to this theater. And pretty much this theater uh, has a main character known as the projectionist who shows them these short films and pretty much it goes through each after one film is done then the next character comes to the theater that type of deal that's what we're getting with the setup of the wraparound and now we'll get into like uh the shorts himself of course uh the first ones involving like uh you know like these uh kids at a summer camp not like summer camp, like a cabin in the woods type deal where they're getting stalked by a killer. But it has a twist, which, you know, I wasn't actually expecting with that type of story. It kind of seems like, okay, it's like your standard slasher fear. And then I'm like, oh, wait, there's more to it than this? I'm like, oh, okay. Because it was getting kind of fucking brutal and mean-spirited in some scenes. And uh, after the twist happens, I kind of see why. Uh, yeah, it was kind of weird, that one. But uh, then we get into the one directed by Joe Dante, which is about this girl who's getting plastic surgery. So she uh, goes to like this world famous surgeon, uh, played by Richard Chamberlain, and then shit turns fucked up after that. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm gonna give away. These are gonna be very short, like descriptions. Uh, then the next one is involving a priest character and uh, involves like a school, like a. It's kind of like a Catholic school area. That's the way I would describe it. And pretty much what happens is the setup of it is a kid actually falls to his death and then shit starts to hit the fan and there might be like demonic forces involved. And that's all I'll give away. These are going to be short, distant segments. And then the next one is a very odd one, I had to say. Uh, it's a... Uh, all shot in black and white and the setup is this woman and her two kids are waiting like uh, to see like a psychiatrist I think that's the setup uh, it was kind of fast paced with the dialogue this one and uh, she, you know she's getting a meeting to the, and then she's starting to see paranoia it's kind of like a paranoia episode of uh, this uh, anthology then the last one is about a young kid who uh, ends up surviving being jumped pretty much uh uh he him and his parents were shot and he was the only survivor pretty much and he's end up in like you know recuperating the hospital and then he starts seeing things that he shouldn't see like uh one minute there's a dead body walking and it shouldn't be walking that's all i give away with that one and then you know the wraparound story wraps up and that's it. That's your anthology. Now, my thoughts on it as a whole of the anthology. Uh, I like some of the segments in this. It's 
some of them I felt maybe on another watch I might enjoy a little bit more. You know, they were kind of like aesthetically chosen, more art housey and more interpretive, like the style of the way they were done. Uh, Joe Dante's was cool. It was, you know, the ending kind of sucked in my opinion of that one. It was, you know, probably it had potential because I do like Richard Chamberlain, but I think that he was underused in it. And, uh, that's about it with that one. And, uh, I really liked actually the first one. That was, was kind of fun for me. I won't lie. It has some weird effects and cool effects in it too. Nice like head split that didn't came out of nowhere. I didn't even expect it. And then, uh, my favorite one, and this one might be controversial, it's the Rhea Kitamara segment with the, the cap. It's fucking gorific. There's a lot of fucking limbs being thrown around and shit. It's just, you know, when you get with Kitamara, you just gotta get used to his style. And, you know, I actually do like his Godzilla film too. I actually reviewed that during one of the 31 Days of Horror. And he, he goes balls to the wall, you know. <laughs> like, just fucking craziness, you know. It's the director of verses. That's all you gotta expect, you know. <laughs> uh, then uh, David Slade's the segments, the black and white one. I actually did like the style and tone and like some of the makeup effects that were in it. It kind of reminded me of some of the makeup. Kind of reminded me of like a Twilight Zone's Eye of the Beholder episode. You know, it was really cool how like a uh, the paranoia set in on this main character that we're following and like a this uh, building and shit, you know. Uh, Mick Garris is a segment he actually also directed the wraparound. I'll get more into my thoughts on the wraparound in a minute. But uh, his segment called Dead, and uh, it was interesting. You know, it has you know it's kind of generic in a way because I've seen this kind of story done before. But, you know, overall, it did have kind of, like, a heart to it, in a way, too. It was weird. Uh, it might have to do with, like, a, another thing. A lot of the music in this film is done by Richard Band. So, you have that going, too. And, and you know, it's okay for what it was. It wasn't too terrible, you know. I mean, it was kind of generic, in a way. But uh, it was all right. I didn't hate it. But uh, my major gripe with this film is the wraparound story. Uh, pretty much they introduced this character, the projectionist, played by Academy Award nominated actor Mickey Rourke. But it's weird in the sequence where he is introduced. Pretty much, he's introduced like fucking after like the second story, you know. And he comes like in the beginning of the third story type deal. It's kind of odd and weird. Like, I would have, you know, if you're going to set this guy up, kind of be like, you know, the, like, the Crypt Keeper, like, or, like, Dr. Terror, you know, like, fucking, like, Peter Cushion's character in Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, you want to set him up in the beginning, like, maybe show him in the shadows, show you that he's there, because I didn't even know that until, like, after, like, I thought, like, maybe the, it was, like, a demon setup where the fucking theater was possessed and shit, you know, but, uh... You know, that's my only gripe with the film. And, you know, like, some of the stories are better than others. It's it's okay. It's not going to blow anybody's minds. You know, this is going to... Because, uh, actually, Shudder produced this, so it's probably going to be on Shudder. So, you know, you know, I'll, I'll check it out again. You know, it's not the worst anthology I've ever seen. It's not the best. It's, like, in the middle of tier style. Uh, if I had to rate it as a whole, I'm going to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10, you know. Not the worst, not the best. It's just in the middle for me, you know what I mean? But I still enjoyed it for what it was. You know, Nightmare Cinema, 6.5 out of 10. Check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this review. I'll be back tomorrow with Day 9. Can't wait to see what I review then. Peace out.